Tracy Whaling with your artist. This is a true story, a Halloween special, about how life can inspire you in even the creepiest of ways, if you let it. I couldn't sleep. Everything was going wrong. You know, you have those nights where you can't switch your head off. Everything was racing through my mind and just keeping me awake. I was absolutely exhausted. You know what it's like. How did it happen? Computers fucked me to sleep. sleep. Oh, what crap, I forgot to sleep. What do I do? I need, I need to answer. I need to find more work. I'm just my wasting my time. I'm tired. What do I do? Wait, Where are you now? Bollocks. How have I got time, time to get sleep? Must, must be a way. Must not forget milk. I'm just wasting time. time. I can't advertise the computers. I need more hours in the day. I could paint stress. I need more knees. I could paint stress. Stupid it with my stress. Inspiration. What am I missing? What am I missing? Why is this happening now? Can I sleep? Think of her. Sleep. 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 I can't think. Think. Has to be She's right there in front of you. What is? I know the right direction. Need stronger. Got it. Need stronger. I know what to do. Lost your way. Don't waste your way. Maybe sleep. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. I played some soft music and I finally drifted off. And I went into quite a deep sleep for half an hour-ish, that's all. And then this voice, I was dreaming, it was in my sleep, I could hear it. And it was saying, wake up, wake up. And I just, I was stirring and I was thinking, just leave me alone, I don't really need to sleep and I could have cried at that point I was so tired and then I heard it again wake up and I flew I live on my own and I thought someone had broken in because this voice was right in my ear and I jumped up and ripped the earphones out of my ear which I completely forgot I was even wearing my heart was going crazy and I turned around and just looking everywhere and the voice was back. You're probably wondering why I woke you in the middle of the night. My eyes darted and there he was on the screen, this guy with demon markings on his face. I was still half asleep and still didn't really know which way was up. <laughs> if there's one thing you know about me, it's that I do believe that everything happens for a reason when the time is right. So I thought, okay, tell me, demon boy, what did you wake me up for? I'm listening. Towards the end of the video, he said, there's something else I want to do for you because I woke you up. So I was like, okay, this is it, what is it? What's this thing you want to do for me? What can you do for me? And he did this click of the fingers. He transformed into three figures. So I watched and I was sitting thinking what a great painting this would make. And I thought, I really need to get in touch with this guy and ask if he would be okay with that. And then I saw he had something like 70,000 subscribers. <laughs> and I thought, oh, he's never gonna see anything that I write to him, he's probably inundated. So I thought, well, is there another way I can get hold of him? And he advertises Instagram, and I'm on that. So I thought, well, let's have a look. And I went to his page, and not two hours before, he posted a picture and said, if you leave a comment on this post, I'll come and stalk your wall. Perfect. And I'd only just put a photo on my wall of a recent painting I'd done. And I thought, well, if he likes it, he'll say so. I know, and I just know he'll say so. And if he doesn't, that will be very telling on its own if he doesn't say anything. And true to his word, he went to my wall and he clicked like on a few of the images. And there was this one, the latest one. And he wrote, incredible, 
So that was my cue. I thought, right, I sent him the personal <laughs> message. And I said, okay, I was being serious though about the painting. It would make a really good one. Would you mind if I did it? And he was all for it. He was looking forward to seeing it. I was looking forward to seeing it completed. And work began the next morning. As the painting progressed, there was one point where I kept getting this flash image in my mind of this one eye on its own. And I'd already done the three figures, so there wasn't really anywhere where I could put it where it would look balanced. But it just felt like this eye should be added somehow. And then I was talking to a friend of mine, and then the painting did come up and I showed it to her. And she said, why do I keep seeing an eye? Like, can you do a third eye on it or something? And I said, no, it's not possible, not with watercolor. It's already, I've already done the skin and it would be very hard to disguise or make look right. You know, with oils it's different, but watercolors, it's very, very difficult. And then as we were talking, there was this loud crash behind me. And I turned around and the painting was on the floor, laying flat. And my phone, which had, had been like three f feet away, had just flown. I don't know how, but it flew and it landed on the painting. And again, my heart was going crazy and I just looked at it. And what I noticed was the phone covered the figure on the left, it covered the left eye. So the right eye really stood out. And there was that flash again. And I thought, I know what to do. I know I know what to do now. And I'd already done the background black. And so to add the eye, I basically used water and a tissue to lift off the black paint and make an eye that way. So it was kind of doing everything in reverse. When it came to painting the pendant, it's not just something that's significant to him because he wears it, but it had a great significance with the painting and the message in the painting itself. And I wrote some notes at the time, things I was feeling and just how it tied together. So I'll grab my book and find it. marks. The pendant is painted with the same colours used for all four eyes. Then no matter what changes occur, there is a strength in the core that will always bring you back to the centre of yourself. And that centre is more important and more significant and will have more of an effect, an impact, a domino effect that is going to spark more changes in the right direction. And as I wrote those words, I had chills. And then there is something you always perhaps recognize as ASMR. It is other times when those chills are felt that need to be listened to most. For me, those chills are always confirmation of hitting the nail on the head, that something needs to be acknowledged or adhered to, listened to, and whether it comes with something good or bad, it depends what what's going on at the time, but those chills will let you know that that's the right thing to do, the right way to go, either away from something or towards something. They can guide you in a way that nothing else ever could. And if that's the message that comes from this painting, then that in itself would be a reason why all this happened, because people need to pay attention to their own instincts now more than ever. I listened to my instincts that night, and more importantly, I acted on them. Not only was a painting born, but this video itself, which is unlike anything I have ever done before, and something that if you'd said I'd be doing this three months ago, I'd have laughed and thought it absolutely impossible. 
given my computer is falling apart, as I mentioned, and I don't have a video camera. Videos was the last thing on my mind. <laughs> but then here's the kicker. Where there's a will, there's a way. And at the end of this video will be a list of thank yous to people who also have absolutely diddly squat idea just how much they were involved in the making of this video and helping me find that way. And if they didn't know then, they certainly will now. And there are those chills again. Gotta love those chills, eh? <laughs> Happy Halloween. Boo. Ha, 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 ha.